God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. This is your brother in Christ, Euclid Gray. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Pray you and your family are doing phenomenally well. I pray you are just keeping the faith, um, keeping your mind stayed on Christ, enjoying that perfect peace that he's given to you, um, receiving his love and sharing it with cheerfulness and being a cheerful giver with displaying what was um, given to you by the grace of our Lord and Savior. I mean, hey, you are a light. Let that light shine. Do not let it dim at all. Listen, uh, I was um, in my studies here in the vehicle, and I was, um, I want to share something just to encourage you because I was reading Mark, I um, believe it's uh, Mark 10. Mark 10, and hmm, it talks about, yeah, it talks, it, it, in fact, let's go to Mark 10, um, and let's go to 38 and 39. <sighs> This scripture is amazing. Um, let's pray. Father God, let your Holy Spirit have thine way in this atmosphere and in this place. Give us ears to hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. Father, we are your church. We humbly submit to your word. Please, Father, give us understanding that we may hold fast to your word, Father, and be pleasing in your sight as we walk it out by faith. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Listen, so many people... Um, gravitate to success, popularity, um, influential traits when it comes to people that is um, doing well or whatever task they may be doing, um, whatever um, gift or assignment they may have or whatever um, uh, prestige they may have when it comes to uh, office or when it comes to a title, when it comes to a position. And um, that's the beautiful thing. We are to um, give honor what honor is due. We need to be grateful and thankful for those who are utilizing their gift wisely and doing it well for the glory of God. Beautiful thing. It's very encouraging to see somebody walking and obediently um, being a good steward of what was given to them for the glory of God. At the same time, some people watch it and they want to be it and become it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it's a, something we must take in consideration. And we want to dive into this scripture because the Bible speaks of two disciples. And they was wanting to, um, they was going conversing um, to one another. And they wanted to uh, be, uh, you know, pretty much um, in, the, in that in that aura and in, in that light and that, that um, greatness as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and it was asked, you know, can I sit at the right and the left side of you? You know, when it comes to you, 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 you ruling in the kingdom and things of that nature. Um, and 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 this is Jesus' reply, and I believe this reply will be a blessing to those who desire to um, perhaps um, want what someone else have or desire to. Um, be motivated to duplicate somebody else's position to the point where they miss their own identity because they're trying to identify with someone else's greatness and success. Perhaps, for instance, they may say, you know what? I see this person shouting. I see this person ministering. I see this person having um, a good, fervent attitude of expressing they love for Jesus. Man, I want to be like this person. Not knowing, for example, this, I'm using this for just an example, not knowing that this person that they wanted to be like and, and imitate when it comes to having that fervent praise, not knowing that that person um, went through turmoil, went through um, countless um, procedures um, that deal with their physicality when it comes to sickness, um, um, probably had... Uh, dramatic um, or a whole lot of surgeries and things of that nature and got through them all by the grace of God. Intense prayer, intense struggling, intense being lonely, intense suffering, 
This is not the case to all things. I'm just using it for an example to the point where now this person <clears throat> praise is so sincere because this person is reminded about every procedure that God brought them out. This person is being reminded about every traumatic experience they went through, every suffering and every pain that God brought them out. So their praise is, is like a reflection of gratitude, of thanksgiving for those magnitudes of times that God has blessed them repeatedly. So when people see the outer period appearance of someone's praise, they don't know the inner appearance of the struggle that they went through, that God brought them through to give them that praise. So a lot of times they want to get this um, position or get this um, status of um, expression to the point where they're like, man, I, I, I want that. But they don't know that that person went through something to get that. And this is what I believe God is telling the disciples. So I'm going to read it what Jesus said. He said, um, you don't know what you're asking, Jesus said. Can you drink the cup I drink? Or be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with? So Jesus is saying, okay, wait a minute. I, I understand you want this status. I know you want to be on the left and set left side of me and the right side of me and and you want this popularity because you, you 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 I guess you feel like a lot of people is gravitating to me but this things come with this this popularity and this um status of greatness come with the cost um and he and Jesus didn't talk about the glamour he didn't talk about what they perceived him as having um that they wanted he talked straight in fact he didn't even talk about what they asked about he went straight to um, the, the, the stuff that he went through to make him, um, be perceived as great or have this sense of power. You know, Jesus went, you know, I can imagine Jesus, you know, saying things, look at this man, wait a minute. Do, do y'all want to go through 40 days and 40 nights, um, with, with fasting and being tempted by the devil? I mean, do, do y'all really want to go through all that? There's some things that you guys don't know that I went through that Jesus is saying, hey, can you can you drink the cup, you know, and, 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 and be baptized with the same baptism? You know, people don't know what a person is going through or will go through to get the status that they have gotten to express so much greatness because they went through so much great turmoil and stress, stress and, and suffering and God brought them out. So they serve God in a great way. And when people want to imitate the way somebody serve God or praise God, they don't realize that that person went through something. So Jesus, wanted, I believe he's reminding them. And as he's reminding us, we have to be very careful of um, we can be appreciative and be thankful that God has brought that individual through that situation and, and, and be very appreciative about the magnitude of praise or or thanksgiving or, or um, this empathy or sympathy that this person has. But, you know, the person went through that because they, they was once homeless, you know, so that's why they have a compassion to be a giver to homeless people or loving. And, and you know, so we have to be very careful. We can learn from this very scripture that God is trying to tell the disciples. And what's interesting, this is what they got when they asked for some greatness. This is what they got. <laughs> and and um, this is the, I'm going to continue reading because the reply they gave was this. It says, um, after Jesus asked them that, this was their reply. Um, we can, they answered. Jesus said to them, you will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with. But to sit at my right and left is not for me to grant. This, these, place, these places, shall I say, um, belong to those who, for whom they have been prepared. See, they they was asking for one thing, but they got another answer. Jesus said, listen, now you didn't know this, but if you didn't know, now you know. You're going to go through the same suffering I went through. You asking for greatness. You want to be uh, positioned in this seat and that seat, but it's not for me to grant that. That seat is already prepared for those who it was prepared for. So the beautiful thing about this What's for you is for you. If God have a great position for you and it may, he may very well have that, 
It's nothing nobody can do to take that. That seat is already prepared. So if God pr prepared a seat for you, you don't have to worry about nobody taking it or anything. That's number one. Number two, we have to be very careful of what we ask for because we may just get it. They ask for something of great magnitude to uh, put themselves in a great position. But Jesus said, um, I can't grant that, but I can tell you this. You are going to suffer. You say you, uh, you, you'll do this. That's true. You're going to suffer. You're going to eat. I mean, sorry, you're going to drink from my cup that I, I drink from, and you're going to be baptized with the same baptism. In essence, you're going to go through something. Now, in their mind, it was like, man, we didn't even know that, but now we know it. Now, even though they know that, they don't know if that will be the position that will be granted to them because Jesus said it's not for him to decide that. So it's interesting. So we are to just be grateful what God has given to us and be thankful what he's given to others and just celebrate Jesus and express the love he's given to us in a way that people can want to Emutate, I mean, uh, imitate, emulate or, or imitate that that fervent praise and that fervent walk um, with Jesus to the point of like, man, you know what? That person is so on fire for God. I want to be on fire for God. That's a beautiful thing. We need to be zealous. We need to have this attitude. We need to be so obedient to the Lord in a way where it's pleasing to God and it's impressive to people. We're not doing it to people, please. We're not trying to get people to look at us, but as we submit to God when it comes to our gift and our callings and we work unto the Lord as opposed to working unto man, man will be touched and be moved to be like, man, how can I be great like that? You know, as Christians, we are to have that that uh, that presence of, of not being swaying to the left, neither to the right, but staying straight and narrow on that path and, and living an upright life. So other people that watch us, whether it be near or far, they, they too can say, you know, like the disciples, how can I sit in that seat of greatness? You know, how can I please the Lord as you have pleased the Lord? But be mindful when you desire that, understand it's a cost that we all must go through and we all must pay. So I just want to encourage you as you encourage yourself in the Lord and just know that what God has for you and is prepared for you. And if he have placed you in a seat of, of greatness, hey, it's already prepared for you. All right. God bless you. I love you. Have a good day. God bless.